My name is Matthew Kuhn. I'm a third year graduate student in the physics department at the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. In our collaboration in the Arizona Observatory, we have 232 members, I think is what the last count was. There's a number of institutions, I think in the upwards of 20, that are uh, spread out all over the world. So the, uh, the neutrino that's double beta decay mode, if, uh, if we can find it, it'll show a CPT violation in the standard model. And uh, if we can find this uh, violation, it can lead to things such as baryogenesis and a number of other cosmological constants that are looking for. Uh, in addition to all of this, uh, our experiment has the opportunity to measure the absolute mass hierarchy of the uh, of the of, of xenon uh, of the neutrino that's double beta decay mode. The experiments in Carlsbad, New Mexico, at the uh, waste uh, waste isolation pilot plant. Uh, it's about a half a mile underground, closer to a mile maybe. And uh, this is the place where they bring all the legacy waste from the old nuclear experiments and the nuclear uh, deterrent waste. The mine there has a separate wing that's uh, set, set off for experiments. A number of institutions have things there, including us. So I think uh, for, for most of the nuclear experiments, just like ours, I, I think we spend a lot of time traveling. Uh, I've been to a lot of places I wouldn't have had an opportunity to go to before. Uh, most of them right now have been in the U.S., but uh, there's been some other opportunities that I've had and missed by that uh, to go to other countries and some places like this. A lot of collaboration. So up till now, I would say probably closer to 85% of my work's been all hardware projects. And uh, I've, I've built a lot of things, a lot of experiments. Everything's experimental. Uh, as far as reading theory, we need to be able to understand the theory of the things we're working for so we can do things like fit you know, models and things like this. But uh, I would say up till now, probably you know, 85% or so has been all hardware, testing new electronics, looking for new cold electronics to work in the cryostat of the experiment. Uh, right now, the Inert Xenon Observatory is in a good place. We're actually uh, moving to the next, the next, you know, ton scale experiment that we just got approved to do the R&D for. So there's a lot of electronics projects in this, looking for new photo detection, new, you know, new ways of limiting background. And, uh, so uh, I've just now gotten involved, I would say, over the last year in, uh, in, the, in a number of analysis projects. The Loomis Laboratory and the physics program has been a very beneficial. We have a, a number of facilities here that have been great. Uh, we also have the MPL High, high Bay Barn, uh, where we have uh, space to build you know, pretty much anything that we need to. We have machine shop guys that can take care of most everything. And uh, it's been a real help to build and experiment with things first before you take them off to the accelerator labs and things like this. I've just recently had an experiment where I've built an apparatus in Loomis Lab and then now we've transported it to, uh, to Argonne National Laboratory so I can use the caribou beam line there. I think all of the skills that I've gotten here have been very beneficial and certainly will help me in, in, in any future endeavors that I have in life. The problem solving strategies alone have been great. The hardware that I get to work with and things, these are all tools and techniques of the trade and they'll be used everywhere you go if you stick to you know, nuclear science whenever you leave.